hey guys welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and hit your notification bell for all new upcoming videos this is going to be a detailed soft glam makeup tutorial using neutral colors only you can use whatever colors you want but this is more of a natural soft glam so i would recommend getting the colors that match more towards your skin tone and just bring a little bit of shimmer or glitter if you want to just pop out your eyes a little bit if not you can leave the eyeshadows pretty matte in color if you don't want nothing really pigmented but for me i'm going to be using of course i showed you a brown shimmer and then a matte brown so i'm going to start with my eyebrows my eyebrows take a while because i'm really a perfectionist and then also just depending on what kind of look am i going for if i want my eyebrows thinner or if i'm going for a thicker look one thing i can say I like about my eyebrows is that since i do have that little end missing i can kind of rotate my end any kind of way i want whether i want like a sharp like curve or do i want my eyes to come out thicker i really can play with my eyebrows a little bit more since i'm missing a little bit of the end of my eyebrow so that's a benefit to the flaw but i'm going to be doing a thin look today i like more of a thin look for me just because my hair is short right now and i feel like my eyebrows with a more slender shape looks better um when it comes to how i like to do my eyebrows as you can see it's kind of hard for me to show you guys this is my first time really trying to zoom in and give you guys a look but i like to take a concealer and just clean it up i know in other videos i didn't do that before but i have found for me with my glam looks the cleaner the eyebrow looks the better my contour comes out so there are some benefits if you don't care about the cleaning of your eyebrows you don't have to now i'm going to do dark corrector today because i'm going to be filming so i like to make sure that my makeup looks absolutely flawless especially for the camera you don't have to do dark corrector if you don't want to but i want to make sure that my skin looks completely even when i apply the foundation because sometimes if you don't use a dark color corrector and you're taking pictures you can kind of see a little shadow of like the darkness or the unevenness in your complexion with the makeup just it's just weird how makeup works sometimes you really need to add certain things to the look to really make it look better on camera and a dark color corrector is one of them for me now when it comes to my foundation i love a liquid especially because it blends better for me and it lasts longer on my face now i like to dab it in so you see it takes a long time to really blend the foundation but you really want to do it like this because it makes the foundation more evenly disputed as well as it lasts longer on the face and it also blends better because you really want to make sure your foundation is blending into your skin and that it's actually looking even all over even from the neck area so just blending it out and pushing it like from the face and not like in the face like outwards if i'm saying it right that makes it look better and i always like to get a top in the forehead right by my baby hairs and sometimes it'd be blending in with the hair but i rather have that than to be two-toned at the top of my forehead now i'm gonna put concealer on my eyelids because i really want to bring out my eyes i feel like my eyes are looking a little bit dark so we're trying to do a glam look a glam look is bright it's bold it's glamorous and that's what we want to go for and especially since i'm going to be adding on that dark brown matte i don't want to have too dark of an eye look i want to really bring out the pretty brown in the actual eyeshadow and sometimes it's best to put a concealer beneath it so it can bring out the eyeshadow color so now look at how this brown is you're going to put it on your eyelid and then just blend it all the way on the outsides of your eye and the reason why you're doing this is because you want to make the eyeshadow look very blended and like more into your skin tone and your complexion you only want a little bit of hint 
that there's some eyeshadow up there you don't want it really strong because we're going for yet again a soft glam and also the more you blend out your eyeshadow the more softer it looks on your actual skin as you can see and then i went in with a little bit of shimmer on top it was literally like a little dab you don't have to do that but for me i just love a shimmer now i'm gonna do a pencil eyeliner at first before i put my eyelashes on because i found that this just makes the eyelashes blend better instead of doing a liquid first and then i'd use duo but to be honest you guys i think i'm switching back to the hair glue i know i get mixed reviews on using hair glue on your eyes but for me the hair glue honey lasts forever and then i don't have to do this step right here because with the eyelash glue i have to put mascara so it can stay and actually hold i feel like when i do it without the eyelashes sometimes the glue doesn't stick and i just really like how hair glue makes your eyelashes last longer and just blend better and just hold like literally i remember when i used to use it i would have to take some oil to get it off and i didn't mind it because like i said i like long lasting so i went in with a white under the eye just to pop out the glam and bring out my eyes a little bit more from that dark brown that i have on top because you want to have a contrast you don't want your eyes to look too dark you want to bring them out so i put some mascara on the bottom and then now i'm going in to conceal this is my soft glam look and yes this does take a while this is not more of my, my natural glam look or my quick looks this is more of a really 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 beautiful glam look but it's also very soft so it's not really like how can I say it? Some glam looks be looking too much, like just too much makeup. And this, for me, I feel like is a really good look. It's very neutral. The colors are natural. And then when I contour, I don't do a lot of contour. I only pick in particular areas under my eye and then on my nose bridge so I can have more of a bridge on my nose. But I don't really put the um, concealer on my lip and stuff anymore because I find that it just makes my face look too cakey, honestly. It's just too much concealer. Some people can do all that, but for me, I can't. So I'm going to go in and set, of course. Always use a setting powder after you conceal. Now, I like to put a lot on, like low-key kind of bake it because it lasts longer for me. And then I know some people don't like to do that, but I do. And then I go through with my blending brush and I just completely remove all the excess powder. Now let's go in and do my bronze or contour look you can call it whatever some people use a bronzer some people use a contour um palette i'm going to just be using a, a dark foundation and just blending around my face i prefer it that way and then of course i'm going to go in the nose and create that bridge illusion that i was talking about earlier when i said i like to give my nose like a little bit more of a bridge i already have high cheekbones so my cheeks are high so i feel like when i insinuate this bridge on my nose it really gives me more of a slender look in the face i could say a more of a structured look but you always can still see the baby face through but anywho i'm gonna go ahead and apply this beautiful blush i'm loving it and then i like to always go through and re-blend my face out i'm telling you guys a re-blend 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 you always want to make sure everything is blended and now i'm going in with a translucent powder and I'm putting it in those spaces where I sweat or like that smile line or like that forehead frown. Yes, honey, this is the finished result. And of course, you know, I sprayed my finishing spray. I didn't show that. This is my lip combo. I love it. It's a really, really classic. It still brings you that pop of lip, but also that gloss. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit your notification bell for all new upcoming videos. Goodbye.